Hey guys, happy Thursday. I'm kind of contemplating like, why am I even on here and telling you this? But I feel like if I help even one mom, it's worth it. Okay. Yes, I look rough. Uh, it's been a rough day. Let me show you. This is a yard of Snickers. I'm sitting next to a yard of Snickers and I feel like I could eat the whole entire yard. It has been so rough. Um, so we have these because when my kids do good on their math test, they can earn a Snickers. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to earn one because I did well on my mom test today. My kids are amazing. Like I have four kids. They are one, six, 11 and 16. And we almost never have behavior issues, like never. But every time we do, every single time we can trace it back to food coloring. Now, if you have never researched the side effects of food coloring and behaviors, you need to do that. So here's what happens. One of my kids just starts talking like crazy, not making any sense. Um, and then they crash and they're super hurtful. They're mad at everybody, really moody. Um, another one is just like blaming every single sibling, crying, full crying, temper tantrum kicking. This child is plenty old enough to not do this. And another one just gets super depressed, like um, internally, takes everything internally and just feels horrible and it is awful watching your kids go through that. It is so bad. And you guys, it's not like, it's just, oh, that day when they had it. Like this lasts for like a week sometimes, depending on what they've had and the certain color combinations and it's scary stuff. So I'm going to post a screenshot, but I really want to encourage you that if you're having kids who are having any kind of, I want to say like abnormal, I don't even know the right politically correct way to talk about this, but if they're having behavior issues, if you think that there could be a problem and they could be doing better, take a look at their diet. It's not always gluten and sugar and all those you know, the common things, but food coloring, that food coloring is so tricky and these manufacturers are sticking it in everything and they don't need to. There are definitely natural ways to color foods and still make them fun and pretty. So just to wrap this up, um, I definitely think you should do your research because yes, it can be cancer causing. It can do all sorts of terrible things. These food dyes, but it's huge on moods. I'm not a doctor. I'm a mom. Check it out. Just go research it.